Hey, 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 it's Tony here, your Crypto Knight. And this time we're going to look at an opportunity called Bedrock Experts. Now, this is run by a Nigerian lady, so what's not to trust? Let's go and have a look and see. As always, I got to find out about Bedrock through somebody contacting me on Messenger and saying, we've got a fantastic opportunity. I've been investing and making money. If you invest, you can make some money as well. Now, typically what these people won't tell you is they're getting a commission by asking you to join up. So that's always a concern to me if whoever's talking to me about an opportunity doesn't immediately disclose that they're getting a commission. But anyway, I said, OK, fair enough. Let's go over and have a look at the website. And here's the website Bedrock Experts. Now, the minute I saw this website, I began to think, hold on, this just looks like so many of the other scam sites we've looked at recently. Same sort of layout. You know, I'm, I'm not confident at all. And my confidence plummeted even further when I saw that the telephone number along the top line there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So not exactly uh, convincing, is it? And this is something I find about a lot of these scammers. They are just so lazy. Um, so anyway, that, that's the, the first thing that was a warning to me. But as I came down the page, I saw that they had the um, company's house certificate registered there. So you can see they've got the little link there to the company's house certificate. And again, this is something I'm seeing more and more. Scammers seem to think that if they spend £25 to register a company, then they can um, get some credence people will think they must be legitimate because they're registered with company's house remember company's house doesn't do any checking on this it doesn't do any validating it just takes your money and registers you so the fact that they've got a certificate whether it's a real one or a false one doesn't give me any hope but if it's a real certificate it does at least give you the opportunity to find out a bit more about them so i went on over to company's house um, this is their certificate this is their company number so once you've got that company number there you can find them on company's house and it was interesting to see that they've been running since the uh, 12th of april 2013 so they've been running a good long time and if that's genuine then that's encouraging. Now, as it happens, I went over to Company's House to have a look, and it does look like that is genuine. That is when they were incorporated, so that the company's been registered for a while, so that's good, uh, good start. However, if you have a look down here at the nature of the business, you can see that they're registered as a management consultancy, which excludes financial management. So it specifically excludes other than financial management so that's a worry if they're claiming to be a financial firm in fact one of the leading financial companies so i popped on over to the chat feature on their website and they very politely asked how they could help so i said are you a uk finance company registered with the fca and they responded this website is operated by bedrock experts registered in the uk under number 8485493 london england well they haven't really answered my question because i'm not asking are they registered with company's house i'm asking are they registered with the fca now if you are dealing with finance in the uk if you're a finance company you must be registered with the fca and they do undertake checks so to be registered with the FCA, that's a very good thing. That gives you confidence. But these guys refuse to answer that question. They say they're registered at Company's House. So I get a little bit more specific. So you are not registered with the FCA then? To which they openly admit, no. And I say, OK. And your company's registration excludes financial management, which we've, we've just seen. That's exactly what it says. But according to them... No, it includes financial management. Well, we know that's a lie. Um, so I ask them, if you say you're registered for financial management, why does your registration say different? And this is the explanation they came up with. When the company was registered, it has no financial management. 
okay and they say 2015 so that's two years after they were registered 2015 which was the year bedrock started its investment operation which provided a financial management again this is just a warning sign so many of these scammers have poor english this is very poor english um, but they're saying they started their financial management operation in 2015. Well, you know, that's over five years ago. Do you really want to uh, work with a company that says that it started something five years ago, but it hasn't updated its records in Company House? So even if this was a legitimate company, which clearly it isn't, I wouldn't be doing business with them. They're just not competent. But the other thing about Company's House is it gives you an awful lot of information about who, what, where and when. So these guys have got a filing history that makes interesting readings. Um, they got about £7,500 in the bank. Um, but I was interested to see under people that the only officers, they've got one director and that's a Miss Olufamielio, Nathan Marsh. So there's just this one young lady that is the director and if you have a look and see who's got significant control, it's again Miss Olifan Malanio Nathan Marsh. And she owns at least 75% of the shares because that's what it means to be a person of significant owner. Um, she's got voting rights of 75% or more and the right to appoint and remove directors. Now, clearly, nobody else owns this company. The company is owned by the number of shareholders they own the company now if you, you can go and have a look you can see that in her share um, records she holds 100 percent of the shares and she ho owns the controlling uh, aspect of this company so this company is owned and run by miss oliver milionio so i go back to the chat and say who is miss olifan mialio to which they reply interestingly enough this is the managing director of our branch in Nigeria. Now, nowhere, nowhere can I find any record of a branch in Nigeria. Clearly, again, this is just another lie. But the suggestion here to me, or what I'm assuming then, is that Miss Olifan Mianio is a Nigerian. Now, she may well have British citizenship. She may well be living in the UK. She may even have married a UK person. But um, this whole thing about Nigeria makes me believe that there is this Nigerian connection. So... I say, OK, then. So the company is owned solely by a Nigerian lady. Now, we've seen that this lady owes every, owns everything. She's got all the shares. She's got the managing um, position in the company. She is the owner. But the response I got back was not what I expected. I thought they might um, question my suggestion that it's owned by a Nigerian lady. But they say no. It's owned by the late Matthew Connor. So hold on. This guy's dead and he owns the company, but he's got no shares and isn't listed. Doesn't make any sense, does it? So I ask, so a dead man owns it? And the response is, yes, he died the 2nd of October 2018. I'm assuming then that rather than have board meetings, they hold a seance. I just don't know how they can claim such a ridiculous, stupid thing. But again, this is typical of foreign scammers that don't understand how the UK system works. They have this poor English and they come up with the most ridiculous, unbelievable lies. It's owned by a dead man and he's died in 2018. Absolutely ridiculous. So having made it very clear in my own mind that this is nothing more than a scam, a Nigerian for and what is it 419 or whatever it is you know it's, it's obviously just a scam um i thought okay well let me see because typically what these guys do is they have more than one website so here's the bedrock experts and it doesn't take long a little bit of um, hunting around the site and looking at the uh, stuff within the site for to find that yep just like all the other cheap and lazy scammers they've got a second 
version of the site and possibly a third and a fourth so that they can catch as many people as possible this one's called blue profits and if you go on you can see look this is about us we are bedrock experts a world leading investment firm so a world leading investment firm that you've never heard of and doesn't appear anywhere and then here's blue profits funnily enough another world leading investment firm that you've never heard of and that you can't find anywhere other than on their own website so absolute scammers um, and these guys both have the same affiliate um, system which is another thing to watch out for it, the people that are contacting you like the guy that contacted me the only reason he's contacted me is because he wants a commission if I was to put a thousand dollars in he would get three hundred dollars that's what he's after uh, nothing else not at all interested in chatting with you or your own welfare he's just after his commission and he would like you to sign up to this scamming site this fraudulent site as long as he gets his money he's not going to question so there you go so my conclusion is that this really is a, a nigerian scammer running a site somewhere that's what i believe and i really wouldn't want you to be involved in it in any way shape or form so I hope you found that useful. If you like these videos, then do please subscribe so you get notified and uh, do comment below if you found it helpful or if you've got any other um, organisations like this that you would like me to look into and see whether they are legitimate or not. Thanks very much. Catch you later. Bye now.